what's up everyone welcome to your six Photoshop tutorial last time we talked about basic brush settings and this time I want to be talking about the modes that you can use with your different brushes now of course the one that we talked about before is the normal mode and this is for just basic painting and drawing when you have a blank canvas of an image and the next mode I want to talk about is the dissolve mode. What this brush does is give you scattered pixels along the image. The next mode I want to talk about is the multiply mode. The ones we skipped have to deal with using layers and since we don't know what those are yet um, they won't really be very useful right now but the multiply and screened mode are very similar they both combine the foreground color and whatever color we're using for the pixels to make a whole new color as you can see since we're using red it combines red with the colors of the fish to produce a new color on the image now what the lighten color does is use the foreground color to lightly overlay the pixels. As you can see, not only does it paint over pixels, but also produces a light shade of whatever color we're using, in this case, red. The next mode I want to talk about is the overlay mode. Now the overlay mode has several modes underneath it in the same category. What the overlay mode does is enhance contrast and saturation. And as you can see, the different modes, the more intense they are as they move down. So as you see, the most intense, how much contrast there is and how much saturation of color that it actually brings out. Now, the last mode I want to talk to you about before I get into the basics right here is the luminosity now what this does is illuminate or darken the pixels when you use either the black or white paints it just makes your image darker or lighter you usually want to use this when you're using a very light opacity and of course the last ones the basics ones I want to talk to you about is hue saturation and color hue of course affects the hue saturation as you can see it brings out more of the natural colors in the image and color is the same as the color replacement tool that we talked about in the last tutorial just replaces the color with a light shade of your foreground color and these will make a lot more sense when we actually begin to use them in projects and they kind of look like they all do the same thing now but once you start using them you'll see that they're a lot different and very useful so now that we covered all of the basic modes in the next subject we're going to be talking about the paint bucket and gradient tool and if you missed anything or want to review what we went over today you can go to my website thenewboston.com and I'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of everything we went over Thank you.